Somebody got that behind. Whooped. You hear me? Dragged. And our girl Fatima is free. Let's get into it. Oh my God, it gets crazy at Andy's law firm. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Zach dragged Hayden's behind. We saw last episode, he leaped for him, dragged him down those stairs and tore that behind up. Yes, he even had to come out of his shirt for him. Our boy was crawling back up the stairs talking about a puck. Yes, he was tearing that behind up. And guess what? Turn around, and here goes the cops. Oh, my God. They come, get our boy, bring him back upstairs. But that's okay. Zach is not worried about these cops. He wanted to deal with Hayden. He wanted to honor his woman. You don't call her a biatch and think you're going to get away with it. He told him you are a weak so-and-so. Went off, said you a little bit of a man. Just look at you. You are miserable with your life. And I did not disagree with anything Zach said. Of course, Andy wanted them both to stop. She was like, cut it out. You know, they both, you know, you both, you know, had something to do with this. Of course, Hayden was like, no, he started it. Look at the tape. Andy like, oh my God, because you know, the tape caught everything. But his thing was, you know, get Fatima out of jail. I don't care about this weakling. I can't stand his behind. All I care right now is about my woman. Please get her out of jail. So, of course, Andy wanted him to calm down. Hayden called him ghetto. Just look at you. You know, Hayden thinks he's totally beneath him. But his whole issue is go and save my woman. I don't care about a couple, you know, nights or hours or whatever I have to do in jail. As long as my woman is free, it's going to be worth whooping his behind. And, uh-oh. Guess who comes into the firm to talk to Andy? Karen. And she sees everything. So, Zach is hauled off to jail. Of course, Karen wants to know what's going down. And Andy is going to have to tell her. Oh, my God. So, they go in the office. She explains to her that Hayden, you know, the little weakling that he is, you know, got uh, Fatima locked up. And basically, you know... Zach came to the rescue. You know, it is what it is. She did not want to tell her because she know that would hurt her feelings. But Karen's like, oh, really? Like, you know, he is fighting for this woman now. Um, it must be something serious. So I know that was a blow to Karen's ego, seeing that this man must really love her to risk going back to jail, risk a third strike, risk, you know, his life this woman i'm sure that was a blow and it should have been a wake-up call and andy was like it is what it is karen yes he loves this woman and you know this is something you need to realize and she still doesn't want to let go but she told her i gotta tell you something i you know don't know who the father is it could be zach it could be aaron's but i don't want it to be uh aaron because i don't know this man i still you know, have feelings for Zach. I wanted to be Zach. You know, she knew him for years, but Andy is trying to tell her, you have to let this go. Aaron's a good man, but I don't know him. Well, yeah, you should have thought about that before you had unprotected sex, sis. No, you didn't know him. But with all that being said, you know, she's still saying she may not let go. She doesn't want to let go. And, you know, Andy wants to get some sense into her that this is something you need to do. You really do. Aaron is a good man. Try to make it work for him. And she realizes that she's been treating Aaron like crap. And he's been there every step of the way. Why? I don't know. For someone he barely knows. But it's something he sees in you, Karen. And sis, maybe you need to get this man a chance because he very well may be the father of your child. So she says, call him. You two need to talk. And she realizes, yes, she's been treating him bad. She feels bad. So she honors and listens to what Andy says. And she gets on the phone and she calls Aaron, tells him to come by tonight because she really needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. So she said, you need anything? She was like, no, just you. So come on over. So 
they about to have that talk now now Sabrina gets a call from her African boo to tell her that the flowers were delivered to the hospital and of course you know the children and everyone there were excited and he asked her um, if she's ever been driven because you know he asked her what she was doing she said her and the girls were going out and he said a woman as beautiful as you shouldn't be driving and she felt you know no I like doing things for myself and you know he asked her if she'd like to go out to dinner he invited her you know either a restaurant or to his place and she said that she would rather you know go to uh her place you know oh and he says oh a woman likes to be in control at her own place and i get that that's true um but i'm like with these gas prices sis you know i understand you just getting to know this guy but Later on down the line, let a brother got a ride for you to work or where you need to go. Um, let him get that driver because at these gas prices, I wish somebody would drive me around. <laughs> so he told her, um, you know, just made her feel good. And I agree, she should be in her own space going with a man that, you know, she's just getting to know. So, you know, he agreed. He'll see her later. And, you know, she's going to get up with her friends. And, you know, he just makes her feel good. You know, this is no drama. This is just a man who makes her feel like a queen. So she got off the phone all giddy and excited and feeling good because she said he always says the right things. I really, really like this guy. And I hope it works out. Now, in the meantime, Preston comes by Danny to get his things after saying he would get them in the morning. I don't know if he thought she'd forget, but <laughs> Preston just, you know, he just feeling, he just, you know, just loves Danny. So she told him, you know, that he can stop the drama. He's saying he just wanted his stuff. She was like, well, you know, just, just come and get your stuff. And he goes to pick out his things um, out of the box and he pulls up a jacket that doesn't belong to him. He like, look, this, this isn't mine. She was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know whose it is. He was like, well, how many guys, you know, you have over here? So that was that little squabble. So he trying to play it off. You know, she tells him, stop it, the games, because I know you're talking to Zach. He was like, what do you mean? I know we talk, you know, I'm talking to Zach because, you know, we friends. So why wouldn't I talk to him? She was like, okay, whatever. If there's something that you got to say, Preston, say it, um, because you know she knows that there's something you know she wants to say more to him she's playing hard to get he wants to say something to her and he was like you right and he was about to tell her how he felt but in comes sabrina bad timing i would have told old girl you know can you step aside a minute because Preston had something to say with me but i guess she saw it as hey um you know maybe we just deal with this another time so she said wow uh Preston's leaving with his stuff and she said, yeah. So they getting ready to go over by Andy's. She said, let's go to the grocery store and get some stuff before we stop by. Of course, Danny and Danny Fashion has no money. And <laughs> Sabrina said, don't forget your wallet. She jetted. Because <laughs> Danny ain't planning on paying on nothing. Now, here we go to this drama, which, you know, really aggravates me. But, you know, they had a nice little dinner. Evidently, Q can uh, cook. So Calvin, Q, and Maurice, they finish eating. Calvin tells, you know, uh, Maurice, it's okay for Q to stay after hearing what he had to say. Well, Calvin tells him he can sleep on the couch and pay Maurice no mind. Um, and I think that's so disrespectful of Maurice's feelings. Like I said before, you know, you need to be out on your behind, Calvin, because this is Maurice's place and he's nice enough to let you stay there. Now, does he know that he can really get Maurice in trouble or even fired for this bad situation? I don't think Calvin cares. It's not on him. You know, Calvin, in his confused state, whatever, he don't care. So, Maurice is telling, you know, Q, I don't feel good about this, you know, but you can stay. I don't trust you, but, you know, you're going to cook, clean, and, you know, daily chores around the place, and that's it. Don't even talk to me. And Q, you know, he going to shoot his shot and saying, if there's anything else you want, you know, I'm here to oblige, you know, basically. And he's like, whatever, I'm not with it, bye. Now, here is um, Aaron for that conversation 
with Karen, they sit down and talk. Now, Karen is letting him know um, that she doesn't want him to be the father of her child because she doesn't know him that well. And that's true. And she's wrangling with all these feelings. And she was just blunt with him. And he's like, you know, he understood that. He understood that, but he's willing to do whatever because he loves her. I don't know, you a rare breed to be dealing with all this drama. But she was like, you know, you're going to do whatever I say. And he's basically like, yeah. And I know you love me too. I'm like, listen, listen, listen. You, What planet are you on, Aaron? Are you so delusional? Do you hear this woman telling you constantly how she feels about Zach? You know how she feels. I don't know why you're so delusional thinking that she loves you. But he feels that she loves him too. And she said, I'm sorry. You know, um, they had a bad start. You know, it, it's a lot going on. I get it. But she doesn't love him the way he may feel about her. And he's like, mm, you know, I'm not really used to being second choice. I know I'm a good catch. I'm like, okay, big ups for your big ego. But, you know, he said he doesn't. You know, to be second choice and have somebody wrangling over feelings because someone else is number one is just something that's not for him yeah you know i mean a guy trying to compete with another one i guess you know you would get that um why he would feel that way but i'm like aaron you are very very patient with her so she said okay in the meantime she knows he's not letting go and she he's going to the store to get her some ice cream and she said the stereotypical thing pickles she's craving pickles she was like of course you're pregnant i'm gonna go get you your pickles and ice cream i'm like uh, uh, wonk, wonk, wonk. okay so stereotypical but yeah he's going to get it with her good old patient aaron now here we go with andy at the office trying to get you know the judge and the court to deal with fatima and get her out they are not budging and you know it's getting a little frustrating but she's gonna realize she's gonna have to pull that trump card and get Robin. And in comes Robin. She was surprised. He's like, well, I told you that. What you think? You know, basically I was making this up. I told you I was coming back. So she said, yes, you are. You're here. But she's a little uncomfortable because of the situation. You know, comments are being made. She's hearing, you know, uh, she really not wanting them to be around together alone like that. He's very bold. And he's telling her he's very discreet. You know, he's not one to be telling their business. And if there's somebody that he needs to fire that's saying something, let him know. And she's like, look at you, you know, the way you talk, the way you come in here, this is why people saying what they're saying. But he's trying to rest assured to her that he's not the problem. He's not the one saying anything. So she goes on to tell him about the situation with um, uh, Fatima being locked up. And, you know, how she tried everything, but nothing seems to work. And he says, you know, he's going to take care of it. And she's like, wow, you know, you got it like that? Yeah, evidently. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he's sleeping somewhat with some other judges or something in court. I don't know. But the brother got some pull. Even though he's in London, he got pulled over here in the States. So she also brings up the situation about Zach. And did you hear about what went on in the office? He said no. Well, there was a fight. Zach Whip Hayden's behind. He said he would have paid to see that one because, of course, he ain't feeling Hayden anyway. So he said he's going to do what he needs to do and try to help out, but it's going to be a little harder with Zach because of his record. But he's going to have some fun with Hayden because Hayden thinks he's one of the guys and uh, just give him all the information and he's going to work, try to work his magic. Now, this old dweeb of a troll is back in the office. He sees Robin back and what he do in rare Hayden form he jumps on the phone and let old boy Gary knows guess who's back in town yeah 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 Gary of course like all right all right he's there okay he said he evidently he didn't think he was coming so he evidently is coming here for Andy he said but I don't know you know how he's able to come he's running the London office so he must be tapping into his client's settlement money so he's telling him, do you know about that? You know, for sure. Can you get me some information on that? He says he's going to do what he's going to do. So now, you know, Andy's like, I mean, Gary's like, oh, you know, I guess that's against, you know, protocol or legalities or what have you. This could be this own man's money. I don't know why he thinks he's tapping into settlement money. I don't get that. Like this man doesn't have money to come back to the States on his own. I don't know what that's about. 
but he's telling Gary, okay, well, I want something from you. What's up with Zach? He's telling him that he's on the up and up. He's legit. His boy's telling him it's okay. Um, nothing's wrong with Zach and the SEC. He's itching. He doesn't believe this. He's pissed. And he wants Gary to get on the case to find some dirt. Because if this assault charge doesn't stick, he definitely wants the feds to be on him because that will get Zach put away for a long time, if not forever, if this pants, he's doing something illegal. So he gets off the phone and he's waiting for Gary, I guess, to work his magic. Now, in the meantime, our girl is out. She lets uh, Fatima know that, yes, Robin has to pull to get her out. But, boo, I got some news for you. Your man uh, whooped Hayden's behind. First, she thought, I told you not to say nothing. She said, I didn't. You know, he came to the job, and this is what happened. So now Fatima is worried and uh, with good cause. So she told him it's going to be harder to get um, Zach out because of his record. Is he off parole? She said, I'm not too sure about that. So now uh, that throws a little rookie, rookie, uh, monkey wrench in the program. So she's a little nervous on that situation. She asked her if she can go to the office to get her cell phone. Um She's saying, but in the meantime, do you think you can get me in to see Zach? Of course, she's worried about her man. You know, she's in there because of him. So um, she said she's going to let the phone uh, situation hold off. I want to see him. So, you know, Andy says, I'm going to go in. That shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to see if I can get that done. So uh, we'll see if Fatima can go in to see Zach. But of course, her contact is in that phone. So she probably want to call her boys from the streets. To, you know, go and deal with Hayden for getting her locked up. You know she wants that phone. Now, in the meantime, here we go with our girls shopping to get their little snacks. And, you know, in Danny fashion, she got her little, uh, you know, trying to get some extra jellies and stuff. Whatever she needs from her house from her girl. But she like, listen. She was like, okay, I only need one. So she's doing her shopping. But she see these women looking. She's like, why are these bees checking for us? Why are they following us? She's like, no, nobody's following us or whatever. She said, yes, they are. So come to find out, they know a Sab uh, Sabrina from a magazine back home in Africa where they saw a picture with her out with the African prince. Yes, I was calling him the African prince. Didn't know a brother was really a prince. She said, yeah, um, look at my phone. You know, we have this on the phone. Look, so Andy was like, give me that phone. I mean, um, Danny. She was like, give me the phone. So Danny sees the phone in the article you know, is this the prince? Has he found his new wife in whatever country he's from? Danny was like, oh my God. And Sabrina is in shock. Like this man is a prince. Danny's looking like, yes, you hit the jackpot, sis. She was like, you gotta be kidding me. These women wanted to take a picture with her. They thought she was so beautiful, which she is. She looks like an African queen. They would make an amazing cup couple. She checks out the phone and realizes this is really true. This man, this is why he's loaded. You know, she's seen his funds at the bank. Now I know why this man is an actual prince. I am so super duper excited, ready for next week. Because let me tell you something. We going to find out about Fuego. He's upset because, you know, Danny don't treat a brother right. Um, you know, Hayden, of course, he's still scheming, trying to bring Zach down. What's going to happen with Zach? in jail is he gonna get out with his woman and also robin told uh hayden he is gay whoa 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 we are going to hear about that that is going to be crazy i don't know how this is all gonna uh go down in the future but we are gonna get some more juicy episodes so until next time stay blessed stay authentically you and live the life you deserve until next week fam peace